Hello, I'm Rhys Gadsby, Senior Economist at Glenigan, and welcome to my latest Glenigan Construction Review video, which reports on construction activity during the third quarter of 2021. And as always, let's focus on detailed planning approvals first, of which the value averaged £6.4 billion per month during the period. While project approvals fell by a quarter against the strong performance we saw a year ago, the value increased by a quarter compared with the same period two years ago. Therefore, detailed planning approvals ultimately remained high despite the fall against last year. Underlying project approvals, those less than £100 million in value, experienced slight falls of 3% against the preceding quarter and 5% compared with a year ago. But crucially, the value increased 16% compared with the third quarter of 2019. Major project approvals are all those of at least £100 million in value, and they fell 56% compared with a year ago. But despite this, the value still climbed 89% compared with 2019 levels. Now again, the standout sector for detailed planning approvals was the industrial sector. The value of industrial approvals has been climbing ever since the start of the first lockdown last year, and the value during Q3 of 2021 was 59% up on the previous year and 146% up on two years ago. Now, encouragingly, growth was almost exclusively due to underlying project approvals, which increased 9% against the preceding quarter to stand 87% higher than a year ago. Furthermore, the value increased 128% compared with two years ago, which demonstrates the clear growth the sector has experienced as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now let's move on to contract awards, which again are very strong. The value increased 13% compared with a year ago and 30% compared with the same period in 2019 to average £8.45 billion per month. Underlying main contract awards were particularly strong, having increased 6% against the preceding quarter and 35% compared with the previous year. And the value also stood 37% higher than during the third quarter of 2019, which is very encouraging indeed. Major project contract awards fell by a third against the previous year, but they still climbed 8% compared to 2019 levels. Now, industrial sector performed extremely well with main contract awards as well, but the one sector I'm going to talk about here is the residential sector. Now, residential main contract awards increased 23% compared with a year ago and 40% compared with 2019 levels. Growth was solely due to underlying contract awards, which were at their highest since the first quarter of 2018. The value increased 14% against the preceding quarter to stand 36% higher than the previous year. Now, to put this into perspective as to how high underlying residential contract awards were, the value increased 62% compared with the same period in 2019. Now, whether these projects progress to site quickly in the current climate is another issue, but it is very encouraging at the very least that the residential development pipeline is so strong for when, when uh, conditions turn more favorably. Now, finally, let's turn to project starts. Project starts totaled 15.78 billion during the third quarter of 2021, a decline of 12% against the previous year and 22% compared with the same period in 2019. Both major and underlying project starts experienced consistent falls, with rising costs and material issues continuing to play a huge role in this. Underlying starts averaged £3.84 billion per month during the third quarter, a decline of 22% against the preceding quarter, and 5% compared with a year ago. In addition to this, underlying project starts were heavily behind 2019 levels, with the value having fallen 27%. Major project starts fell by a quarter compared with last year and 5% compared with 2019 levels. Now, only one sector really stood out for me in terms of project starts this month, and that's the office sector. Office starts increased 80% against last year, and they doubled compared with two years ago. Both underlying and major project starts had an influence on growth. Underlying project starts climbed 4% against the preceding quarter and 38% compared with the previous year. The value added up to £1.405 billion during the quarter, growth of 19% compared with the same period in 2019. 
underlying activity was largely driven by refurbishment schemes with firms adapting to a new way of working post-pandemic. Major project starts were extremely strong. They increased 228% against the previous year to total £950 million. No major project starts started during the same period in 2019, so this is considerable growth. That's it from me, but if you'd like to learn more about construction performance for your sectors and your regions, please download the latest construction review for free using the link in the description box below. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next month.